Yo, what is going on guys? This is me, Prohim, and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, before we get into this video, guys, I want to say if you guys ever want to participate in one of these videos ever again, make sure that you guys go down in the description below, follow me on Twitter, and if you guys ever want to participate in this video, make sure you guys turn on the notifications, and that will give you notifications of when I post, like I'm doing a Q&A, go ahead and send in some questions. You will be the very first ones to know, and you guys will be able to send in some questions, and Maybe I'll pick you guys so you guys will, can be featured in this video. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and hop in this video. And I, I want to say thank you guys so much for 40,000 subscribers. But with that being said, guys, let's hop in this video. All right, guys. So now we're going to get into the questions part. Now, first off, I don't want to knock out the easy ones. Uh, the easy ones being uh, from Richie OVO. He asked... How old am I? Now, Richie, I am 17 years old, man. A lot of people do not believe me when I say I'm 17. But believe it or not, man, I am 17 years old. Uh, the second one is from Nemix. He asks, what did I find that Activision did best with Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remastered? Uh, overall, man, I think that Activision really really did well with how they implemented new DLC weapons. Uh, that was just an abso absolute uh, improvement from Black Ops 3, I'd have to say. Just Black Ops 3, the way it was implemented was very, very bad. I really didn't like it, and they made such an improvement with how they did that. The next question is coming in from Cade Hesterman. He said, why did you decide to do glitches? Why didn't you decide to do trick shots or high kill games or something else? Uh, a lot of you guys do not know this about me, but I did try to start my channel off with Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3, I try to give you guys game tips, how to improve your gameplay, how to read what people are going to do, where the choke points are on the maps, and that is overall what I was trying to do. So why did I try to do glitches? Uh, this will sort of go into the very next question. Uh, on Call of Duty 4, I started getting into hide and seek. I really enjoyed doing hide and seek games. Uh, really enjoyed doing Michael Myers, and that was just really, really fun for me. I always found that entertaining. It was nice to relax and play. And overall, that is what I wanted to do. And... Uh, so, I mean, why did I choose glitches? I don't know, man. It, it just felt like it was right for me. So, the very next question is from Ghost Wounds. He asked, did I ever imagine I would have this many subscribers? And to answer your question, it, man, I don't think anyone would imagine having this many subscribers. It's, it's just a dream, man. It really is overall. It is just an absolute dream. And... I'm happy to be at this point. So, Ghost, that is a very good question, man. But to answer your question, no, I did not ever imagine that I would have this many subscribers. The very next question is from Viper HD, and he's asking me, what is my favorite map on Call of Duty? Now, I'm going to assume that you're talking about Call of Duty history. Uh, if not, man, I apologize, but my favorite map overall is is gonna have to be Afghan I'm gonna have to say Afghan just because that is the very very first map that I ever got my nuke on on MW2 and I got that by noob tubing and that was also with one man army so call me a noob if you want but that is how I did it and no one's taking that away from me and the very very last question or no I got one more question after this uh, the next question is from bloody jack 4011 and the only reason why I said I got one more question after this is because this question is very, very good. This is probably the best one that I've received. And he asked me, when did I start playing Call of Duty? So that is going to go into why did I start doing glitches, sort of. And uh, when did I start playing Call of Duty? That was in Call of Duty 4. I started playing like hide and seek, but uh, I want to say Call of Duty 4 was not the newest Call of Duty that was out. I want to say World at War was out when I started playing, but my first Call of Duty that I probably ever played was Call of Duty 4. 
the, the very last question though is this is sort of a two-part question and Adam Riley asked me who is your biggest inspiration in YouTube and what is my favorite glitch now I'm gonna answer the second part of your question first because that'll probably be the easiest um, my favorite glitch is probably gonna have to go back to Call of Duty for the original and it would have to be the elevators on block uh, the elevators on block were really fun and not many people knew how to do elevator glitches so that is why I'm saying elevator glitches overall and block would have to take it because uh, there was a ton of elevator glitches that not many people knew about and that is just what I did and the final question that he asked was who was my biggest inspiration on YouTube uh, this is very very easy to answer uh, my biggest inspiration on YouTube is white boy 7th Street he's still playing Battlefield uh, he is my biggest inspiration because of what happened with my mom and how she passed away uh, overall that what he went through and what I went through were very similar and I reached out to him a long time ago before I even started doing YouTube that's like when I had a picture of me actually on Twitter and stuff like that uh, I reached out to him and he actually DM me and he helped me out and just the similar situation that we both went through and how he took his time out of his day to help me was just such a huge impact on me and it meant so much to me and I don't think that he understands how much I did for me and that's sort of what I try to do for you guys man so uh, outside of YouTube he was a great inspiration on me he was a very helpful person and just overall he's a great dude and I can't begin to thank him enough and on YouTube he is a very very good content creator he always knows his way around things and he's a very very smart man when it comes to doing business and YouTube and stuff like that and you gotta look for that sort of thing in both perspectives and he's very good at both of them but overall he is a very very cool dude and I would have to say he is my biggest inspiration and that is what got me into doing YouTube is just seeing what he did what I could do and stuff like that and I learned so much from him but overall guys that is gonna wrap up the video so thank you guys so much for sending in all your questions I sort of thought that this was the easiest way to repay you guys for 40,000 subscribers. It really means a lot to me. And thank you guys once again for sending in all of your questions. Thank all of, all seven of you guys that I featured on the video. And these are absolutely great questions. And we will be doing a QA and a here soon again. So thank you guys once again. And that is pretty much going to wrap up the Q&A. So if you guys do ever want to participate in this Q&A, like I said, go follow me on Twitter. I will be posting another uh, tweet when I do another Q&A. So make sure that you guys stay tuned for that. But overall, guys, that is going to be it. So this has been me, Purim, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me